Welcome back to my channel. This is Stacy's Universe and I am Stacy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on Tulip's two minute tie dye. It's a kit that comes with containers that you put projects into and then you put them into the microwave for two minutes and it's supposed to set the dye as well as it would if you let it set overnight. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what comes in the kit. I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie it, how to dye it, all the good stuff. Please stick around to the very end and I will show you exactly what the final product looks like. Thank you so much and please continue watching. For today's project, what you're going to need is the Tulip two minute tie dye kit which comes with dye, rubber bands, and gloves and then you'll need some paper towels and then I like to use a drying wrap and also something to tie dye. <laughs> Alright and that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started opening up this kit. Okay, it comes with two trays and these are the trays that you put your projects into and then microwave. And then it comes with four colors. It comes with yellow, fuchsia, turquoise, and green. And then it comes with gloves and rubber bands and an instruction kit. All right, so let's see what the instructions say to do. One, determine the wattage of your microwave. Use 100% cotton fabrics only. Okay, this should be, yeah, this is 100% cotton. Soak your fabric, either pre-wash your 100% cotton garment and leave damp or soak in a container of water for at least two minutes for the cotton fibers to completely absorb the water. So, so. All right. Two minutes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and all I have done is I've wrung it out. I'm gonna just continue reading the instructions. Okay, the next thing is to fold and tie your fabric. And on the back of the instructions, there is some inspiration. Okay, so we're just gonna do the crumple effect. In the instructions, it says you just bunch it up with your fingers and then you just use the rubber bands to hold your fabric into place. So, um, I guess we'll just start scrunching it up like so. And they only used one color, but I still want to use all the colors. Okay, so. I will just use some rubber bands to put it into place. And I'm gonna get everything set up to start tie dyeing. I'll be right back. Okay, and now that I've got everything set up, it says add room temperature water to dye bottles and fill lines and then replace cap shake vigorously for at least one minute or until dye powder has dissolved. All right, so I'm gonna go fill up the bottles and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back from getting the dye all prepped. Okay, and it says just apply dye. Place the bound garment onto a plastic table cover and apply dyes. Carefully flip over and apply dye to the other side. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I Okay, so this has to be the top of the shirt. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is start with green. And I don't know how exactly this will <laughs> look in the end, so... It might be kind of cool. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and do green on this side. The next color I want to do is yellow.
to fuchsia. And the last color I'm gonna do is turquoise. Okay, now it says to immediately place garment into tie-dye container once you've finished adding dye. Okay, I've got it in the container now. And now it says close the lid and snap securely in place. Shut the door and set the processing time according to your microwave wattage and the size of your garment. Press start. Do not leave the container unattended while the microwave is in process. After the processing time is complete, leave the container lid closed and allow your project to set for 15 minutes in the container for cooling and complete dye saturation. After 15 minutes, open the lid and allow your garment to cool for another five or until cool to the touch. Number eight, rinse and wash and dry wear. Look, <laughs> rinse, wash, dry, and wear. Rinse well with cold water until excess dye is removed. Place your tie-dyed garment into the washing machine. Add a small amount of laundry soap. Wash in warm water or regular cycle and tumble dry. Wash and dry separately. All right. Excuse my dirty microwave. Oh, I forgot to look and see how long I'm supposed to do it. So one. So because my microwave is a thousand percent or a thousand watts, I have to microwave it for two and a half minutes. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this go and then oh god, it's really dirty. Sorry guys <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go and then I'm gonna let it set the 15 minutes and then I'll be back to rinse it out Friends, so we are back. I let it microwave for two and a half minutes and then I let it set for 15 minutes Open the lid for five minutes, and now we're, it says we're gonna go. We're good to go ahead and rinse it out. So let's go ahead and just get started. And it says to use cool water. So cool water it is. And it says to wash it so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and dry it and I will be back to show you the final product so here is the final product I think that this actually turned out pretty darn cool and the color really I mean it, it got in there it, it looks awesome zoom in there's a little bit of spots, but that's my fault for not mixing the dye very well. Alright, thank you so much for watching today's video. I thought it turned out actually pretty cool. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread love wherever you go. And don't forget to also ring ding ding that bell. Okay, bye.